fire. Welcome. Last week, I showed you some records that I'd bought, some LPs from one of my favourite 1990s and beyond groups, Saint Etienne. Really enjoyed adding to my Saint Etienne collection. They're a fantastic indie dance band, and I wanted to add to that particular collection on vinyl record, especially as soon as possible. And so I did with this big bar stool of a package. This is from WH Smith. Yes, the famous British news agent turned seller of pretty much everything. Um, <laughs> they've got a really good website, actually. They've got more things on than you would expect. You know, a lot of media related stuff, you know, records, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, etc. What I like about WH Smith, and I have talked about this in previous videos, is that they are part of the lay-by program where you sign up with lay-by you get given a credit limit although it's always interest free and then as long as you stay within your limit you can pay for things in six weekly installments with no interest added which for more expensive purchases such as this and there was a Beatles box set that I bought earlier this year in a similar way from WH Smith that comes in very handy now in here there should be four records and a DVD Yes, there's a DVD in here, but it is related to the records and to St. Etienne, so we'll get to that shortly. I did get two separate dispatch emails where it looked like one of the records was being sent out separate, but then the second email looked like it was being sent out with all the rest of these anyway. It was confusing. So we'll see. So there might only be three records and a DVD in here. Hopefully there's four and it's my entire order. If not, it doesn't matter. I will show the other record that's due later on in a different video at some point. I've got my trusty knife out because I can see a pull apart tab, but there's plenty of sellotape as well. So I think we better play it safe early and get the tape cut first. So hello, Mr. Knife. I've missed you so much, even though I've seen you pretty much every day for the past month. She drives me crazy, ooh, ooh, like no one else. Ooh, ooh. She drives me crazy, and I can't help myself. Ooh, ooh. And now, let us have a so. So, woo! So altogether, this bundle here cost me just under ninety pound. Yes, a lot of money to spend. However, as I mentioned, I'm splitting the payments via layby. Confusing how to exactly get this open. This is a lot of tape, but there is this pull apart tab that I'm tugging at now and uh, that's not making a great deal of difference and i'm going to be making a mess with little bits of cardboard on my floor at this rate i think although we might be nearly open here yeah i think we are i think we're open excellent all right just uh, put the blade away safety first kids oh it just spilled open at my feet wonderful um, looking at it, I think the album that I wondered might have been sent separately, it does look like I can see it. Right, we'll start with the DVD first, because people are going to be like, well, um, if he's collecting St. Etienne records, why has he bought a DVD? Well, I'll show you why, to get this returns label out of the way. It's because it's this DVD. It's the Films of St. Etienne, a London trilogy, 2003 to 2007. When I was searching for St Etienne at WH Smith's website, this came up and it wasn't something that I was desperate to have, but it was 8 99 I think I'd only really seen it on Amazon for a few pounds more, and then there was one Discogs Marketplace seller selling it for £20. And I certainly wasn't wanting it at £20. And even at £10, I thought, well, mm, do I really want this? But for £8.99 and the fact that I could just add it to this big order and then all the costs is being split out over six weeks anyway, I thought, why not? 
So a London trilogy, films of Saint Etienne, so they've done like sort of, it's mainly they're doing the soundtrack really. These are all documentaries I think. There might be one that's more sort of fictionalised but it's meant to be in the style of a documentary, I'm not sure. Um, I'll read a bit of the bump here from a beautifully conceived film poem and an imaginative exploration of the Lower Lee Valley to an uplifting documentary on a London landmark the collaborations between much-loved electronic indie trio Saint Etienne and filmmaker Paul Kelly document London's ever-changing environment and landscapes accompanied by music from the band and then it goes on and on tell you the short films. I think the longest film on here from what I know is just under an hour and there's some on here that are literally less than five minutes. So there's quite a lot on here. It says trilogy but I think there's actually more than three. I think there's three sort of more fuller length films and then a couple or at least a couple of sort of really short films. This has intrigued me for a long time. Not something I'm desperate for. It's a BFI release, I don't know if anyone remembers, but I did get a Blu-ray DVD dual set that was a BFI release from Amazon recently. It was the Pet Shop Boys movie, It Couldn't Happen Here. So I'm always happy with how BFI sort of package and market their product. So this should be quite a nice set, if nothing else. Whether I'll enjoy the films or not, I think I probably will. I like documentaries. I know that Saint Etienne, they kind of romanticise London, both modern London and the London of yesteryear, so that's going to be interesting to hear their music over these sort of scenes of probably areas of London that I'm not familiar with, such as the Lower Lee Valley, for starters. So yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to watching this, um, getting through all these films on here, and I think for 8 99 that was worth a punt. However, it is the albums that I was really wanting to get. I don't think they're in any chronological order here in the packaging, so I'm just going to grab them at random, really. So the first album that I'm grabbing here, this is the album that I actually wondered if it would be sent separately, but it's not. This is Saint Etienne's 2002 album, so this would have been probably their uh, fourth or fifth studio album, Finisterre. Just some bump on the back. I'm not going to get any of these out just to keep the video short and all these are on black vinyl as well. So while I'm excited to get them and there's nothing wrong with black vinyl, black vinyl matters, then uh, they're not overly interesting for me to show you on a video but I wanted to show you these additions to the collection. So yeah, it's got the hype sticker on it. Hopefully I'll be able to retain that like I did when I bought Fox Base Alpha and Tiger Bay last week from Amazon. So there's no track listing on the back. Oh, that's because it's on the front. Includes inner sleeve artwork and download codes. I passed a couple of the St. Etienne download codes onto Liam Nally recently and he enjoyed them. So Liam, there'll be some more here for you at some point when I've got these opened and I've listened to the records, mate. So that's Finister. I'll get through these fairly quickly. Let's grab this one. Uh, Tales from Turnpike House. Now this was from 2005. Like I said, I've not heard any of these albums. I will have heard the odd track off most of them, I think. Some more nice sleeve notes from someone on here. Someone called Jeremy Della in 2005. I just really find it exciting to just get a nice bundle of records and all these, they're brand new as well and sealed. £90 is a lot of money to spend. It's not the sort of money that I can go out and sort of spend all at once generally. But WH Smith being on lay-by for purchases like this and like my Beatles singles box set has been a godsend, really. Really like the artwork on this cover as well. I think that's really cool. So Tales from Turnpike House. So a couple more. This one isn't technically a studio album. This is more like a kind of early compilation. Not of greatest hits, but it just compiles sort of non-album singles from Saint Etienne from the 1990s and other bits and bobs. This is called Continental. It's got the hype sticker on. It's from 1997, but this isn't technically a studio album. But it is one that I wanted. It's got He's On The Phone, which um, is one of my favourite singles of all time, the Motivate mix. It's just cheesy and catchy and funky oh it's just yeah makes me happy hearing that song every time so yeah he's on the phone i think it's the only single on here that i know of but um as with all these albums i'm just gonna really look forward to listening to them adding to my saint etienne collection discovering all their music that i've not heard because even though i've been a fan of theirs for many years it's only really a few of the singles and not even all of them 
that I've actually listened to. So, Continental, excellent. And the last album in this haul is their most recent one. And I believe this is a two LP set. Certainly looks the thickness. Oh, lovely silver shiny hype sticker on there. This is their most recent album from 2017, I think. Home Counties. So yeah, it's split out over two discs. Weirdly, even though this is their most recent album, there's less on here that I'm familiar with than on earlier stuff and albums that I've not managed to collect yet. More sleeve notes on the back. I like what they've done here because um, these are actually all proper hype stickers that they've put on the sleeve. That's a hype sticker that I can tell is on the outside on the cellophane. These will all have been put on by hand, I believe. It was just a deliberate thing that they were going to festoon a sleeve, an album sleeve, with hype stickers of sorts. Marvellous. Brilliant. So, four Saint Etienne albums and a bunch of little films relating to Saint Etienne, the soundtrack mainly, for me to get through. That's a lot of stuff for me to enjoy, but I'm really enjoying adding to my Saint Etienne collection. It's not complete yet by any stretch. Um, I can't think offhand exactly how many more studio albums that I need from them. I think it's at least two, possibly three. And then there's other compilations and rarities and fan club reissues that, although some are more expensive than others, I may try and get at some point. The studio albums is what I'm really after at the moment and anything that's easily available and at a good price. So, brilliant stuff. Thank you to WH Smith. That was quick delivery once again. And thank you to all of you for watching this video. I love to talk about my music collecting. I think Saint Etienne are a really collectible band as they take a lot of pride with their artwork for their albums and their music is just really likeable. And um, I'm just having so much fun just deep diving into their work right now. Thank you to all my subscribers and, of course, to all of my amazing patrons. I'm going to go now and what else but stick one of these St. Etienne albums on. And I do hope that you will join me again next time for my next music collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!